everybody! I hope you guys are doing good. I've got a very special mini session that I'm doing for a client and this mini session is actually a gift, a donation. And I'm gonna go ahead and read the goals and we're all gonna get to enjoy this experience together. This is specifically for Australia. The fires and the animals and the people and the plants and every everything that's going on there that needs love and healing. Um, we're going to be focusing on that. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and relax, um, read the goals, and then get tapped into what the love is that we're going to share today. All right, so I want to send love and healing energy to those affected by the fires and a special prayer for help to all the suffering animals and humans. Hmm. Let's bless Australia together in strength and courage. That is so, this is so sweet. I'm, I'm really absor absorbing in your energy and getting tuned in to the love that, that we're going to share today. I'm really excited to do this. All right. Just gonna relax. Okay. All right, so I'm experiencing my heart and my heart's kind of made out of charcoal in this experience, okay? And the charcoal is all really hot, so it's glowing red, red and orange colors. And it's kind of um, pressed together. It almost makes a, an extraordinary looking jewel in a way. But you can't have a heart that's on fire, it will burn you, right? Doesn't matter if it's an extraordinary looking jewel. It's too hot too hot for comfort. So how do we cool down something that is too hot? And they say the, the first thought is to put water on it, right? They're not necessarily saying water. They show me the experience of a bucket of water and then chucking it on this water onto someone who has this really hot burning heart. And uh, it, it actually hurts. The water is so cold it actually hurts and it creates a huge steam effect. It feels very uncomfortable. Even painful. They show me something similar if you've been in the cold for too long and then you get in the tub to warm up, even lukewarm water can feel like it's burning you. So there's something about a gradual reduction of heat. This is interesting. If one hand were to go onto this heart, it will burn that hand. But if many hands go on to this burning hot heart with cooler hands than the burning hot and many, many, many hands, the heat will disperse about all the hands and it will just cool down naturally. Many hands then can heal this burning heart. Many hands. It's, it will take many hands to heal this burning heart. And the hands are not... The hands are a gift. The hands are a reflection of generosity, of love. So to heal this heart, we need love. We need generosity, many hands, and love. So we're all going to do something special together in the energy world. We're all going to do this together, okay? So to accomplish this, close your eyes, all right? I'm going to close my eyes. Now we see Australia, okay? Now we see Australia as this heart that is too hot. 
And we're all going to do this. I'm placing my energy hands up upon Australia. And you place your energy hands upon Australia. And even if this video is being watched years in the future, future events can change the past. So even in the future, if Australia is five years from now, it has nothing to do with, you know, if the time has changed, right? Your hands are still valued at this time. So we see Australia in this time, this heart on fire. And we'll place our hands upon it, okay? And the heart is very, very sad. And the heart says, hold me. I'm alone and I'm, I'm melting is kind of what it's like. And it's like, please stop the melting. There are other spirits joining in with us. A very large man spirit as well. And I did a journey with the spirit of Uluru. The, this very special sacred rock in Australia. And it was so wonderful and so beautiful. I'll put a link in the description if you want to watch it. But Uluru is very much so like a Father Earth figure. And I see him standing here with, uh, with us and many other spirits, like many, 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 many spirits standing here with us. And we're doing the best that we know how with our hands of love and generosity to cool down this burning heart. <sighs> Uluru is here with us too. And many others who love Earth and Australia and humanity and the animals and the insects and nature. <sighs> My spirit guides show me that this is like um, the stop, drop and roll method. So if you're on fire, you gotta stop, drop and roll. And uh, so we're using the stop, drop, and roll method with our energy hands to kind of pat out the fire, okay? With our energy hands, we're going to pat it out. <laughs> so we're just kind of doing that right now. And uh, so multiple things are happening at once. We're patting this out, but we're also simultaneously, there's a spear for every single animal. And every single animal that has perished in this event is being held. Their spirit is being held. And what's interesting about this is it, it's a tragedy, right? Um, but these animals signed up for this. These spirits did. They knew about this. They knew what they were going to experience. They knew what their transition experience was going to be like. And some of them are still lingering in the earth plane because it's traumatizing to die in a fire. So all these spirits are being held and you can hold a spirit, one of these spirits too with me. You can hold a spirit and you can pat out the fire at the exact same time. It can be an old mama animal or daddy animal or baby. It could be anything. Be multiple animals. You can rock it in your arms or pat it on the back and tell it how much you love this animal and thank you for the gift that you have given. Your life here on earth is special but the learning from this fire is special too. Uluru is opening quite a large gateway and there's lots of spirits that are moving through this gateway and there's um, other spirits specifically to help transitioning <laughs> spirits. As, it's hard to, to explain everything. There's so much stuff going on here. Um, but they're, they're like smiling and welcoming all the animals through this gateway. And it's very exciting. Very, very exciting. And what's interesting is there's a silence in the air. And it's, it's nature, okay? <sighs> And nature is going through a, what is like an energy download? What is like a transformation of its self-expression? It's thinking. And it's absorbing lots of information from deep within the earth and from the stars. 
And what's interesting about this too is that the insects and the animals and um, the the plants, everything that has uh, gone through a burnt burning experience is being digested by the planet. And so the planet is absorbing lots of information um, in this area, okay? And it's thinking about how it wants to recreate itself here. There's a big release of uh, pent-up energy that's just coming out from this burnt remains. It's like a large exhale. It even feels better inside my own heart. What is one thing that we can all say um, was good about this event. Uluru is talking about how we get absorbed into the negativity of things that we don't want to see. And when we get absorbed into that, we express negativity into our atmosphere. So how can we see this fire as actually a good thing? And they're showing me the heart with the many hands that are helping and how this fire is bringing many people from all around the globe together to help, to help the planet. It's, it's like a big message too, because it's such a tragedy. And it's trying to uh, create kind of an alarm clock as well. And we gotta work together. We gotta do something, right? And so it's positive. We have to always stay positive and see the bright side of things. And Uluru, has got this. There is a plan here, okay? There's always a plan. You have to trust in that too. Let's keep working together to share love, to transform our planet, not just Australia, but each other and all over the earth. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for being a part of this experience with me. And thank you very much for booking this mini session, sharing this gift with Australia, with all of us, with the world. It's really, really neat. All right, everybody. If any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.